Hello everyone, my name is Lamb Chops, and welcome back to Death and Taxes. So we're going to continue on to day 8 here. Um, I don't remember what we did in the last game. I'm going to turn it down a little bit because it's blaring in my ears. I don't really remember what we did in the last game other than talk to this guy who just goes on forever. It's it's like, dude, we get it. Okay, you're stuck in the basement. Nobody wants to talk to you. We get it. Um, oh, speaking of, can I... I forgot how to go down like one level. Maybe I can't. Doesn't matter. Dressing room. Ooh, fancy cat. Go get them. Oh, kawaii. No, we're not doing that though. Uh, I kind of, I just like this one. I like this look. All right. So the mirror's not talking to us. Uh, oh, we should probably just go to bed. End the day. Yes. Okay. Cool. All right, boss. Can I talk to you? Oh shit! Did I forget to? We're gonna. <laughs> I'm just gonna start that over real quick, and I'm gonna see if uh, if I totally just screwed myself there. I don't know if I actually like checked in at the end of the day, and I was like, "Hey, boss, I did all the work. My my work day's done. Going home to the the creepy mirror wife. Continue day nine. Shit. Options. Is there no way to go back? Nope. All right. Fuck it. Uh, I might have just screwed up right there. Let's uh, let's find out here. Yeah, I don't know. I might have screwed it up. My instructions. Uh, Crow News. Landlord found dead from falling down on eleva an elevator shaft in their own poorly maintained building. Well, that's going to happen, man. Take better care of your places, okay? Come on. Uh, join Mer Mercury on the Path of Glory, a commune for those who seek the revelation. I don't know what that means, but okay. Uh, Crow News, where the bee is disappearing. I don't know. Where are the bees going? Are they getting stuck in the flowers? What's happening? We gotta we gotta help out the bees, man. We gotta save them. They're little cutie pies. Um, wasps, however, can can f right off because those are the worst. They don't they like they know they're gonna die if they sting you, and they're just like, oh, are you enjoying time with your family? Well, sting. Anyways, uh, weather report: windy and dry days ahead. Okay. Oh boy, let's see what we got going on here. Greetings from afar, Grim. So, right after I left, mere moments, it seems to me. Something happened to the plant department, do not ask. As such, I need you to fill in today, basically as a grim for them, I hope it's okay. <laughs> oh, okay, so I'm I'm now uh, killing plants. Quarter for the day, three hit, plants have to die. Fate. Alright, so we got the Agaritina Altissima, 2420. Ages 2, position, parent, okay. Uh, Edgeratina, also known as white snake root or richweed, is a plant that grows on a cow pasture. It is half a meter tall and has small white flowers. It's almost ready to release its small seeds with fluffy white tails in the wind. Yeah, well, you're also giving people uh, asthma attacks, okay? Be a little bit more uh, considerate of people with the word I can't think of allergies. Yeah. Gosh. Dionea muscupula. 24, 20,483. I don't know what these numbers. Is that like the the number that they are of a found like species or something? I don't know. Uh, H2, position pest control. Dionea is a Venus flytrap that lives near a pond inside a forest and has a versatile diet of bugs. It munches all day on mosquitoes, flies, and dragonflies. Overall, uh, overall an exempl exemplary plant doing its part in the ecosystem. All right, you did it. I like you. You, you trick little buggies to fly into you, and they're like, hey, you can land here, look how comfortable it is, it's nice, you should come over here, bam, dead. Just like that, life is gone in an instant. That's why you have to, you have to treasure every moment that you have on this earth. Kali Tragus, 98352, age 6, position survivalist. Oh, Kali is a pink, oh, you're a fucking tumbleweed, you son of a bitch. <laughs> try, to, try to trick me with your, your nonsense. Uh, Kelly's a pink rat clump of branch tangled stems, each one up to about a meter long. Kelly and their brothers and sisters started growing after a wildfire cleaned up a large patch of land. No other plants could survive on the dry soil. Kelly enjoys, quote unquote, traveling and beautiful architecture. Okay, you're in the maybe com column. I'm not going to choose you yet, but I do have to kill two more of these plants. Hey, you've already... I already have one of you. Venus flytrap is hidden in the grass next to a small path to the local honey farm. <gasps> Stop killing all the bees! That's where they're going, you son of a bitch. You 
stop killing this. I don't care if you need to eat, okay? Stop killing the bees. Humans are already killing all the bees. You leave the bees alone. You can eat all the wasps you want, though. Well, I mean, you're dead, so you're not going to eat anything, you know, anything ever again. Sorry. That's awkward. Let's, uh, let's organize. Oh, no, I'm not trying to end the day. I'm trying to get organized here, okay? Get all my coins in a pile over here. There we go. Stack them high and let them stack. That's what I always say. There we go. I wonder if there's, like, an achievement for, uh, getting them all in the same... Thing actually, hold on. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. Oh my god, really? Is it? Oh, come on. Just give me the lady. Hey, there we go. Alright, so we're gonna stack them all down here. Now that they're all the same and I didn't get an achievement, which I'm very upset about. Do I have anything in my drawers yet? Nope. Okay, alright, let's stack these bad boys up. Okay, there we go. I don't know why it's deciding somewhere on top, somewhere on the bottom, but whatever, that's fine. Okay, I probably should have put it in the drawer, that's alright. Can I put, can I actually put stuff in the drawer? Good for organizing stuff, yeah, but it doesn't actually let me... Alright, whatever. I'm getting too uh, distracted by the fact that I'm not keeping everything... Nice and organized. So, uh, that's a death, that's a death, that's a live. I only need one more death. So, let's see what this last guy is. Alpacorus Pretensis. No, 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 no. Oh, God, dude. His power level's over 9. That oh, okay, we're not going to do that. Uh, age 0. Oh, rip. Photosynthesis. Uh, Alpacorus Pretensis, also known as the Meadow Foxtail, is grass. I swear if I have to make another file about a blade of grass, I will quit. There we go. Your cousin Grim Reaper's Agita. Okay, stop doing that. So I have one, two, three in the death column. I guess I'm going to let this guy live. Whatever. You don't seem to be very harmful. So uh, let me squeak my little guy there. Let's clock out for the day. Lock in those choices. Okay. Oh, so I can't even... Can I actually wait? If I go into my dressing room... Mm-hmm. <gasps> no, they wouldn't set me up. I've been with the company for days. Who is this? Everyone in the office. Haven't you seen them stare whenever you tweet? Well, yeah, it's probably because I'm a, I have a cat head. That's not nice. That's not nice at all. Okay, I have a lot of potential. Uh, I'm a nobody. What if I make a mistake? You're just trying to rattle me. I'm getting real sick. <laughs> getting real sick of your attitude. I don't have any bones. Be seeing you, Space Cowboy. Uh, Alright, let's go. Let's actually go get paid for today's job. Because I definitely forgot to do that to the... Oh, it's the cat, too. Oh my god, you are just so incredibly cute and fluffy. Cough politely, so wake up, cat. I'm supposed to report to you. I'm sorry, you're cute and fluffy. Slowly, the cat turns her head towards you, hear her eyes blazing with annoyance. Meow, she mutters, then places her paw upon some documents littering the table. The cat repeats a sequence of contented meows. She then curls back into a ball and closes her eyes. Oh, look at that. Yeah, hey cat, I bought your gift. Hey, the sacrifice. I got an achievement. Nice. Uh, Lady Paddington's eyes grow wide and dark as you place the gerbil on the table. She pats the chew toy with her paw. Squeak. The rubber toy squeaks eerily. Cool, cool. Nothing ominous here. The cat eerily stares at the toy gerbil, gerbil fully ignoring your presence. Squeak. The toy gives out a sad noise as you make your way out the door. Making my way downtown. E and S. Whoops. Hey, 400 bunnies. All right, let's... Oh, God. Here we go, Chatty Cathy. What do you want, Mr. Quartermaster? Uh-huh. Like uh yeah, that's what the sun does. You just scientifically explain something. I already knew. Look at you, look at you go. Um, I have a lot of monies. Holy shit. The lithium obliviator, obliviator is used to remove grievous mistakes. Oh, that's the... Yeah, I don't, I don't need that. Uh, Resonator collates accelerated electromagnetic. Oh, I don't know about that. Pair of sleek, stylish modern glasses that grant a pleasant face to wear and make me look wicked smart. Wicked smart. Way smarter than the boss, you know. All right, listen. First off, I'm from the Boston area. All right, don't come in here with your, 
your, your fake fucking Boston accent with your wicked smile. I have never, actually, I've used that term a lot. That's besides the point, all right? It's not the only thing that we say, okay? And I do not, hey, for the record, I do not drink Dunkin' Donuts, okay? Starbucks, all right? I'm the high maintenance one of the relationship with me and my fiance. I drink Starbucks. None of this Dunkin' Donuts on every corner shit, all right? Anyways, let's look wicked smart. We don't really blunder educational organizations. Okay. You can't rob the ideas hiding inside the brain. What? Well, usually. Yeah, that's... So where did I get these fancy scholarly glasses? Nobody asked. Nobody what? said a damn thing. A royal I don't believe you. I held at Why would you do that? So he made me an offer I couldn't He gave you his glasses? Just be a powerful artifact. Turning one into a formidable oh my God. powerhouse. How do you think I got a hold of Oh, never mind. Stuff? I thought they were making a Superman joke, and I was like, oh, really? Superman joke? Okay. Um, I don't know what this does, so I want it. Shiver me timbers. Shiver me timbers. Tis a tale most sordid. I dare not even recall the details. But since he I, I don't. You dare not, and I want not. So, dare not, want not. That's two negatives, and I'm going to positively get the fuck out of here. And I saw this in an elevator. Uh. Uh-huh. Tore it out and made a run for wow. it. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. Mm-hmm. You turn the knob. Infinite. You stole a noisemaker? You stole an MP3 player? Wow, you're a badass, dude. Does your mom know that you're out this late? <laughs> like, you're gonna get grounded. You should go home. <laughs> you're out of control. Uh, Alright, so I talked to the kitty cat boss. Let's check the dressing room. Oh, I can wear glasses now. Give me them glasses. Oh, look at that. Are you okay? Rebel. Pretty cool. Magical. That's badass. What else is there? Director? Lame? Boss? Why is... There's no difference there. It's just skin... Skin tone. And... Hair darkness. Alright. Anyways, I am the knight, and uh, I am going to bed during the night. Alright, let's see what we got. Going on to the grim office. What the hell is this thing? Can never get sick of all these fine tunes. Oh god, what have I done? Oh, it actually plays music when you... It changes the music. That's awesome. Uh, me too. Look at this cute video of Angry Cat eating grass and meowing at the same time. Oh, <gasps> Angry Cat! You killed the oh, you killed the, the mm, you killed the grass and made that man quit. That nice Grim Reaper man. Uh, farmer found the reason of the bees disappearing. Carnivorous plants. I fucking knew it. You sons of bitches. Just don't eat the don't eat the bees. Eat every other mosquito that you want. Ticks. Get rid of them. Leave the bees alone. They have not doing nothing. That hurts anybody. Uh, Tumbleweed killer, the Cali plant growth this year has been heavy, covering an entire building and preventing people from escaping from... Whoops. Fucking tumbleweeds, man. Don't trust the tumbleweeds. Uh, we learned our lesson on this one. Uh, crow news, many people in the hospital poisoning from cow's milk. Fantastic. I have no idea how that applies to me, but sure. Uh, morning, Grim. All right, we are back to normal. The plant department got their act together. You, however, should be in intimately familiar with the drill by now. We mitigate chaos. We bolster order... Etc. 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 Quarter for the uh, day. Two humans have to die. Let us balance the world. Fate. Interesting. Amandus Hamir. Age 51. Position. He was an editor in chief. I don't actually know what that does. I think he knows big words. Big big boy. Big brain words. I think that's what it means. Uh, before Amandus took over the Daily Moon. <gasps> hey, didn't we just read a thing on the Daily Moon? You were talking about bees. Oh, no, yeah. Haha, -ha, see, I remember. Nice. Um, with ruthless determination, they turned the paper into the tabloid powerhouse we know today. While recklessly digging through the lives of others, they've used the paper to suppress rumors about themselves. Uh, that's... That's kind of bullshit. Two, two humans have to die. That's the only thing for quota. That's interesting. Um, Seamus Sage. He's 35. He's unemployed. Seamus lost their parents at age three, was raised by an old fast... I can't, I can't... I had it for a second, I think, the Irish accent, and then I lost it immediately. Uh, Foss family at an isolated village. These days, they are on a mission to find a legendary skull of death. An artifact. That's not how you spell artifact. That should be an I. Hello? You're going to get ki You're gonna get killed because of that grammatical error, and that's not even your fault. Um, an artifact that supposedly gives, supposedly gives one the power to live forever. I mean, that's pretty doubtful. If you have anything to say about it. Yeah, I do have something to say about it. Fucking don't don't get that artifact. That's not for you. You know, I'm gonna be out of a job. If I just if I let people walk around with an artifact that you can't die. I I'm homeless in the afterlife. What, what, what do I do? What do, is there 
Is there like a, a two tree, double tree? I can, can I stay there? Can I go back to my mom's place? She's still mad at me after, after the last time. That's not happening. <sighs> yeah, I had to die, man. You can't be discovering artifacts like that. Lucas Colaby. 32, getaway driver. Lucas got tangled in the whole organized crime web at an early age through debts their brother had incurred. To settle the score, Lucas was forced into working as a driver. Although as of late, they seem to have been getting their hands dirtier. Whoa. Yeah, I mean, you're kind of badass. I don't like you because you like to use big words. That's not cool. That's just not okay. Ronald Kershid. 29, firefighter. Oh, I don't want to kill the firefighter. Unless he's a weirdo. Ronald has been working as a firefighter since her late teens, pledging to get their life to protect the people of Cosm Cosmopolis City. In remarkable physical shape, they've been organizing athletic events for communities all over the country to raise awareness for sa fire safety. I mean, you have to live, dude. That's You're a nice man. You're, you're an asshole. And, uh... I feel like this would screw with things because, like, the... the He's the one that's gone, like, the Daily Moon back to what... But, you know, he's hiding himself. No. He's hiding shit about himself. That doesn't sit well with me. Sorry. I killed three people. Oh, I fucked up. I fucked up. It's supposed to be two people. I forgot that the, um... The goals, or whatever you want to call them, are specific. What do you mean? I'm a, I'm a cat person. What's wrong with that? Uh, what is? All of the profiles tests. Chat's too clean, pristine. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Listen. Shh. They're probably eavesdropping. Okay. Let's be off. I feel like my mirror is going crazy. Oh, I think it's gonna be mad at me. Oh, it's the cat. Okay. As you enter, the cat is whacking the chew toy aggressively with her paws. Squeak, squeak. The toy cries in the most despondent voice possible. Uh, you sure enjoy bashing that toy? Ah, I still can't believe how fluffy you are. I'm here for the daily feedback thing. Hey, cat, let's do this. Boom. Can't believe how fluffy you are. Meow, the cat mutters in the most annoyed tone possible. He, they did that last time. So how is this the most annoyed tone possible? Have they increased the level of annoyance that, I, that I fe I'm feeling? Is that, is that what's happening? Uh, I just want to pet you, cat. Right, professional. I'm here for the daily thing. No, I'm on a cat. I'm not here. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not touch you. Touch a little ear. It's so cute. The fierce look in her eyes make it seem like petting her would be one extremely bad idea. I don't care. I want to pet the cat. Ah, so cute. Uh, okay, maybe not. Let's get back to business. Yeah, I'm going to pet the cat. The cat bears her teeth. They look incredibly sharp. Sharp enough to chew through any osseous material. You won't bite me. It's unprofessional in a workplace environment. I'm doing it. No one can stop me. Reach out your hand. Okay, maybe I shouldn't touch my boss. Let's do the review thing instead. Uh, I'm going to do this. Oh, shit. Feline Fury. The cat stands up. Her back arched and tail flickingly sharp. Her and tail flicking sharply back and forth. Squeak. The toy emits a shrill sound that cuts through everything. Huh. You weren't even touching the toy. This is a bad idea. Good call, uh, gerbil. What in the... Slowly, the cat rotates her head while continuing to stare right at you. It almost looks like there's a ghostly, mischievous grin on her face. With maj oh, no. With majestic grace and disdain for your discord discourtesy, the, la the cat lowers her head onto a pile of documents. Growl. The cat emits what seems like a half meow, half growl. I'll take this to me that I'm doing well. Still not sure this is a valid use of my time. Leader cat, I'll be back tomorrow. Cat hisses and growls deris deris derisively. It probably means you're not doing that well. A swift nod toward the door with her head makes it clear you should be leaving. Ah, I screwed that one up. Zero. Well, shit on my tits. That's not a good score. Ugh, alright, I'm not gonna go talk to that guy. Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna cut it here. We didn't get paid for that job, so I must have screwed up. I know I did, because the, uh, the thing said two humans have to die, and I forgot that you have to stick to those, um, requirements. So I kind of screwed that one up. My bad. Anyways, thank you, vloggers, so much for joining me on today's distraction from the wise productive day. Comment, like, and subscribe if you want to see more like this in the future. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video soon. Uh, gotta fix that outro. Bye-bye. <laughs>